The search for a young man who was last seen in Grand Forks last month is becoming more desperate with every passing day. Owen Rooney was visiting BC from Australia when he mysteriously vanished. Sarah Galashin reports on a family's plea for help. You know, hasn't used his bank account. Sharon Rooney has traveled halfway around the world. in search of her son. Three years. You know, sort of hoping that they've seen him. 24-year-old or... Australian Owen Rooney, who worked last season as a line cook at Big White Ski Resort and was supposed to go home at the end of the summer. After attending an outdoor four-day... a music festival called Shambhala. So I said, um, I hope you enjoyed Shambhala. And he said, yes, I'll be coming home soon. That's the last Facebook message Sharon got. He hasn't called or used his bank card, but the family has managed to map his movements up until August 14th. He left the festival August 9th and traveled to Nelson, where he spent two nights and bought a bus ticket for Wednesday, August 11th, but never boarded. Somehow he made his way to Christina Lake, where RCMP found him and drove him to Grand Forks. They just said he was confused, that he had facial bruising. This is where the real mystery begins, because the officers took a confused Owen Rooney to the bus station so that he could travel back here to Kelowna, where he rents an apartment. But instead, Owen opted to cash in that bus ticket and spend the Friday night in hospital in Grand Forks. It was sometime Saturday afternoon that he vanished, leaving most of his belongings behind. So here we've got the two bags that he had taken to the festival with him. And um, these are the ones he walked away from at the hospital. His family has his passport and broken cell phone and no idea what might have happened. What do you think happened? I have no idea. I, you know, I mean, I can speculate 500 scenarios. I can't. Owen Rooney. Instead, she spends her days getting the word out and sending him Facebook messages that go unreturned. Walking into the nearest police station, they'll bring you to us. Like, you know, sort of, yeah, like it doesn't matter. It's just walk into the closest police station and they will bring you home, yeah, to us, which would be really nice. Sarah Galashin, CTV News. Kelowna. And with that, I just want to add, you would think in this day and age when we spend a lot of tax money on all this electronic surveillance and and biometrics and computers to scan every little piece of security data that's sent over the net along with everything else you would think with a few presses of the button we could find a trail on this young fella surely he hasn't completely disappeared alright thanks for your help